Hi everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at this book Ethno Spirit by Katerina Bobrikina. I know I've not said that right, my apologies Katerina. Um, this is a Russian artist from Siberia in Russia in fact and this is her very first colouring book. She started off as a, a colourist just like me and you and she's now created her own book of stunning artwork for us to colour. So we'll just have a look at the book itself physically. Uh, first before we get started so it's 27 by 29 centimeters so almost square it's got this uh, left hand sided spiral binding down the side here as you can see so it lays flat no matter which way uh, you color with it if you color on your knee or your desk or wherever it's going to lay flat so that's really handy now the cover itself is made of a very thick almost perspex feeling uh, plastic so it's really really thick very shiny as you can see and yeah it's a very very thick plastic it's going to keep the book really nice and um, well kept you know some covers go dog-eared and things like that this one is super super thick and protective and then on the back you've actually got a big thick piece of card to use as something to lean on and also as another protective layer for the back pages as well so really really nicely produced first of all so we'll open it up and there's no ex extraneous details, it's straight into the illustrations of which there are 30 in this book. So it's all female portraits, as you can see they all have a certain uh, culture about them, different cultures, obviously the book's called Ethno Spirits so it's about all different ethnicities and uh, all different cultures. So again it is a book of portraits, so fantastic for you to be learning your skin and hair on if that's something you want to try and improve improve upon. Now the faces and the, the skin areas and you know the portraits in general are very large, the book is very large so the portraits being kind of zoomed in are quite big so you've got a lot of surface to cover. Now that's good for those people who are really trying to, like I said, improve colouring your skin, your cheekbones, your features and things like that, because you've got a lot of space to work with, so you've got a lot of space to go wrong, you've got a lot of space to play with, rather than some tiny little faces where it'd be difficult. Um, but on the flip side of that is that because there's an awful lot of skin, it can be quite intimidating, I think, for maybe the new kind of colourist or somebody who's new to colouring people. So as you can see, gorgeous, gorgeous ladies, all different shapes and sizes. And we've got a side profile here. So again, you can practice your cut of the jaw and your cheekbones and places where you'd put your highlights and shadows on skin. Now, I absolutely adore colouring portraits, as you know, it's something that I've come to really, really enjoy over the past kind of six months-ish, um, and that's pretty much all I do now. I do I do, do other kind of colourings as well, but I often like to stick with colouring people, because I just think I love how realistic I can make it look. Um, not blowing my own horn there at all, I'm still learning, um, but I do love it when I end up with a really decent piece. Um, but with this one, so my usually my favourite artists are people like Mario Labudek and uh, Anastasia Ellie Koldareva who does the um, Mysteria books and Nocturnes and those particular illustrators always feature quite a lot of shading on their work and that really really helps me and it helps a lot of people kind of define where things need to be, your shadowing and things like that. There is no shading on these whatsoever, it is purely crisp and clean line art so I mean some people might prefer that because you can put anything where you want it then and you don't have to worry about any kind of grayscale shading or anything like that but again on the flip side it does help new colorists and those who maybe aren't so confident know where to put their shadows and highlights so I think if Katerina was going to do a future book she's obviously got the talent here she obviously can draw if she's going to do another book a sequel in the future I might like to see a few um, ladies who are a little bit more shaded and filled in if that makes sense these are a little bit too outliney for me but still gorgeous so again all different sort of um, backgrounds on these we've got this lady here with all the roses in her hair again really great for coloring your hair strands these big thick strands of hair give you a lot of space to work with so this is a kind of celtic looking girl maybe you could do an irish theme for this one or a scottish theme even got loads of feathers a headdress these kind of inca statues here going on in the background totem poles 
this lady looks almost like a babushka she's um got all of her head scarf and her um kind of jewels and things hanging down jewelry and pearls and all kinds of clinky stuff you can just imagine every time she moves she makes a little jingle and she's chuffing away on a pipe as well another very plain and simple lady and it's pretty much the whole book goes on in the same vein you can see that this is the one i finished i've already i think i've already posted this picture on my instagram i can't remember if i have actually but um this is one that i've done and i used uh prismacolor pencils on most of it and then on these feathers here i used polychromos because they were harder and i could sharpen them to a much finer tip and it would stay um, nice and not crumbly, nice and hard. So um, on the gem, on the, oh, there goes my little baby Castile, <laughs> fell down. Um, on the little gem, I've used a Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. Don't know whether you can see that showing up. And also on the necklace as well, just add a little bit of sparkle to her. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And if you wanna know how to do this skin tone, it's the previous video that I've just put out. So it's the um, olive, skin tone in real time that's how I've done this so this one it looks very kind of Hawaiian got the uh the flower what do they call this thing the um the lei that's it the lei around her neck she's wearing a bikini so this one I can see in very tropical exotic colors this one shrouded in a kind of tunic maybe a little bit Grecian maybe We've got an oriental themed one here, again with the cherry blossom, the sakura plant, or sakura flower. This one, this lady is full of flowers and wheat. I can imagine this being done in a very autumn colour palette. So uh, lots of burnt oranges and deep purples and uh, mossy greens. This one's got a little lamb with her. Very, very sweet. If I was more adept with geography and culture and things like that, which I wish I was, I'd probably be able to recognise the clothing and the style of some of these women and tell you where in the world they're from. So that is the last one. Now you can see that it's all double, uh, sorry, not double sided, single sided. So you can use your markers, you can use anything you want. The paper itself is bright white. It is really, really nice and thick. It's 190 GSM for those of you in the know, but if you don't like me, it's really, really thick. Um, what else can I tell you? It's not perforated, but again, it does have this spiral binding, so you can remove them and trim away all the messy bit on the edge and easy to frame and display. So where can you get this book from? You have to email Katerina for your copy and she will send them out personally. So I'll be leaving her email address in the description for you to pop her a quick message and get the book sent to you wherever you are. So 30 illustrations, 190 GSM paper, and uh, the cost for this book is 18 US dollars or 14, uh, 14 pounds 29. So 18 dollars, 14 pounds. And then you'll have your shipping cost on top wherever you live in the world, which obviously Katerina will confirm with you when you order. So do let me know what you think of this book in the comments. I really, really love it. Like I said, it's obvious that Katerina has drawing talent. I only wish I could draw half as good as she does. Um, but I would love to see a little bit more depth and shading on these ladies is for it to be a 10 out of 10 for me so again leave your comments below please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon on color with claire